destiny swap is real. What I'm about to tell you right now, I am speaking from experience and please take notes. You need to pay attention to people close to you. This can be your family members because they are the one who does the most to you. Family members, your significant other, you know, friends, pay attention to these people. When I was back home, I was married before. So I remember after our wedding, it was this evening and people were drinking. I was drinking that time. People were drinking, you know, everybody was drunk, happy, eating and all that. And I remember this family member of mine, she was like, because she was drunk, she was like, my sangoman told me that you are the one who going to take care of the whole family. You're going to be someone tomorrow. But listen, I was just young and naive. I do not take note of this, you know. How did she know that if she wasn't, you know, curious about me, if she does not have, you know, ill intention towards me? I was young and naive. I did not pay attention to it. I did not even like, you know, believe what she was saying. In West Africa, when you get married, you know, uh, um, seven days, one week, you're not supposed to go out. You're supposed to make your dinner and bring it inside for one week. That's just our tradition for women. So in that one week, because after my, my wedding, I stayed with him. In that week, one week, this woman was cooking for me. Mind you, she was, she's very lazy. She doesn't want to do anything. She just want people to do everything for her. But that very week, this woman, she said she's going to cook for me. And whatever she put in that food, oh, she got me. She got me. So after this happened, when it was time for, you know, myself and my ex-husband to come to Europe, yeah, Ireland, things start happening. We missed our flight twice. We lost our documents. And mind you, we don't have Irish, you know, embassy in Guinea. So all the paperwork we got from Ireland here, we we have to, you know, bring everything in Ireland here to finalize and then bring it back home. Do you know how long that's going to take? We lost our documents. We lost everything. We have to start over again. It took us two years to get to make it to Ireland. So when we missed our second flight, I was like something in me. I was young back then. I was like just a teenager. Something in me said to me, don't visit her anymore. So God helped me that we find a place and we hide. We do not want her to know where we were. So we find a place. We stay there. We end up staying in that house for two years. Let me tell you this. When I tell you I was sick, I'm telling you I was sick. At night, I was hearing things. I was hearing drums, you know, singing, people talking, things like this. And I would be asking my ex, are you hearing what I'm hearing? He was like, no, this month I was going, I was going mad. That was how much I was sick. But you see, your enemies will try to stop whatever God has for you. But one thing for sure, it must still come to pass. This happened so finally we made it to ireland when we made it to ireland for those of you who don't know i'm a dancer i started dancing when i was 10 years old and when i came here let me tell you this i was making money from this from the first year i came here till the third year i was ma i was making you know molo a real one opportunity were coming my way open doors things was going up and when the fourth years hit that's when everything dropped again I start fighting with my ex. We did everything we could to save this marriage, but it did not work out. Guess what? Guess what? Because she is behind it. We were trying to save this marriage, but unfortunately, it, we had no other choice but to get divorced. Fifth year, we got separated. I moved out. I start noticing that things that I was passionate about, such as dancing, involving in communities, you know, working with people, going out, you know, just things that I was, I was very passionate about and, 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 and have motivation for, I start losing the motivation. I start losing interest in everything. I did not want to go out. I did not want no one to see me. I did not want to do anything from morning to night. I just get up in the morning, take shower and sleep, get up in the morning, take shower and, and sleep. This has been happening, let me tell you this, over six years. 
I realized that something isn't right. Because when this start happening to me, doors are closed. Rejection after rejection. I remember when I was with my ex-husband, he was okay doing everything for me. But when it comes to him helping me to apply for my citizenship, things will start happening. We will start fighting. It wasn't right. When I apply for a job, I don't get when I apply for anything, I don't get like doors were closed. They were shut. I tried everything. And because of all these rejections, it ended up killing my motivation for life. Mm. Listen to me. This kept happening only a few, let's say two years ago. I was like, something is not right. Because even though all this was happening all these years, I said that deep down, I knew something wasn't right. You know, God always going to put it in you that something is not right. Wake up. So two years ago, I started noticing that, nah, this is not right. Whenever something good is about to happen in my life or blessings about to come in my life, God is about to bless me. He shows it to me in my dream. And whenever he shows me this blessing, he's about to bless me with, I will dream about this woman. The blessing goes to her instead of me. Recently, I think it was like a year or two ago, a year ago I would say, I dreamt that I have bought a house, okay? Beautiful house. And I was so happy when I woke up from this dream because I know whenever you show it in my dream, something big is coming my way. Guess what? Not even a week later, I had a dream of this woman. She took this key from me and she entered in the house. Not even a month, one month, these people, they, they bought a house, a brand new house, four bedroom apartment. You need to pay attention to people around you. Listen, I'm speaking from experience because destiny swap is real. Only recently, I start taking my prayer life uh, seriously. And of course, it's going to take time so to close all the things that have been doing to me to exchange the destiny again. It's going to take time. But don't you ever mistake that because they are your family member or your significant other, that they won't do you wrong. They are the one you're supposed to be scared of. Because they are the one who does the most to you. Pay attention. Destiny swapping is very, very real, and it doesn't just happen to celebrities. It can happen to anybody, even you, if you don't know the signs. Save this video because you may need to come back and compare notes. Because these people show up in your life as friends, as supporters, as fans of you. You could be really talented, really smart, really magnetic. People enjoy being around you. People want to celebrate you. If you're working on your goals, if you're on a spiritual journey, you don't even have to see it on you. They see it on you. These people recognize the light within you very early on and they try to latch themselves onto it. They have a tendency of latching themselves onto you early. Now, destiny swapping happens when people either exchange their path for yours or they try to intertwine their fate, their destiny with yours. Because they see your greatness, they see your potential, maybe even before you do. And they do this all while trying to downplay your accomplishments, downplay your goals, downplay your impact. They'll be jealous of your accomplishments and still try to either hijack your goals or attach themselves to you. Their aim is to dim your light, the same light that they're attracted to like a moth to a flame. It's parasitic. They try to force this parasitic connection that's just unnatural. You might find yourself missing opportunities, facing unnecessary challenges, doubting yourself. And the signs of destiny swapping can either be subtle or not so subtle. Some come off as unusual, co really unusual coincidences. And it's really just repeated patterns. But like I said, it's parasitic. So it feels, it's going to feel unnatural. They're going to try to attach themselves to you. And it's not going to feel like a natural connection. Also, just be on the lookout for boundary issues. This can look like love bombing you or even mimicking you. Not all that I am. At the same time, that's not all that I am. 
but you're kind of going to have to trust your intuition and like how it feels and mind you this is energetic it doesn't have to be material at all this is felt they recognize this light in you and they really just want to hijack it or take it or attach themselves to it for example this guy this man will recognize the light in a budding artist and try to hijack their fate and it never feels natural it never looks natural but he'll try to hijack their entire persona so you'll find that they copy you or they emulate you and when confronted with this they'll tell you that it's a coincidence but like i said it's really unusual coincidences they do this all while trying to downplay your talents downplay your impact downplay everything that makes you you everything that they're trying to steal all your energy that they're trying to harvest and this can be a friend a peer a co-worker i can make an entire video on the guy because i've been itching to talk about energy vampires but let me know if this has happened to you if you attract jealous people jealous friends that they really just want to be near you but they don't seem to really like you let me know down below and again save it in case you have to come back Woo. do not let people trick you out of what you're supposed to be doing there are people who know who you are who can foresee what is coming in your future before you do Sometimes it takes us a while to really acknowledge how great we are and we allow other people to dim our light, to make us think that we are something else, to try to put their own narrative and twist who we are so that we don't become who they know that we can become. I don't say this out of fear. I don't say this out of timidity. I don't say this out of expecting everyone to be an op. That's not the case. But you need to be able to discern what people are trying to do with your involvement in their lives. No one is obligated to have anyone in their life. So if someone is choosing to have you around, you really need to take a step back and think about why does this person want me here? Does this align for the vision that I see for myself? Is this something that I agree with? Is this something that will be beneficial and nourishing to me or will it just serve them? But people who only want to serve themselves are the most selfish people that you will ever encounter. And those are the people that you need to stay away from because it does not matter what you do for them, how long you know them. If they decide that they can no longer extract what they need from you, they will discard you. This is a warning to somebody and really should be a warning to everybody. You need to be extra careful letting these people you're in relationships with record you doing sexual acts. You never quite know who you're in a relationship with and what exactly they are into. And let me tell you that some of y'all are in relationships with witches and warlocks. And they are doing more with those videos than just getting off to them. A whole lot more. And just because you break up with them and say that you're done, they still have those videos of y'all doing the most intimate thing you can do in this world. And they doing stuff with that video. And it ain't just getting off to it. So I'm not one of those people that will get on here and make a statement about something if I don't have receipts for it. I keep receipts. So anyway... I used to be one of those people that were like, I'm not going to block you. I'm not going to unfriend you. You're going to have to see me eat. You're going to have to see me glow up. But now that I understand energy exchange, witchcraft, and destiny swapping, all of that stuff, people that don't like me, people that are jealous of me, people that want my relationship, people that have any secret animosity towards me, I get them off my page. I get them gone. Because there, there's this girl. I'm not even going to name drop because that's free promotion. If she know what it is, she know what it is. So she sent me a friend request. I denied her friend request because I don't want nothing to do with her. I never have. I already know what type of time she's on. And then I'm 29 years old. The girl's barely legal. Like, what do you have in common with me? Why do you want to be my friend? So I denied her friend request. So because I denied her friend request, my stories on Facebook are public. She goes laugh reacting to my stories to get me to look at her page because she made a post about me. And she did all of this 
because she needed my energy. She wanted my attention and my essence so bad. And because I don't go around her, because I don't talk to her, because I don't fool with her, she don't have access to it. So the only way she can get access to my energy to my essence is to get a reaction out of me so she went out of her way and started drama and did the most just to get a little bit of my energy just a little bit and once you figure out that people like that need you they need your energy to make themselves feel better because they are so miserable they try to steal your light they try to swap lives with you you'll get them people off your page and like i said i don't post and say anything without receipts this girl we end up getting into it, blah, blah, blah. And I told her, like, why are you even messing with me? I denied your request. I don't want nothing to do with you. She straight said, I only sent you a request so I can make fun of you. Baby, you're a devil. You're a spirit. Do you not understand that you have been sent on an assignment to destroy my peace and ain't going to work? They're literally like an Agent Smith. They're trying to keep you trapped in this matrix and make you feel like nobody likes you or like you're just not that significant or nobody would ever really want to be your friends like that so they have to keep you away from other people and they will try they will be very possessive of you sometimes because they don't want you venturing out it's almost like a hostage situation like remember rapunzel in the movie how like the witch kept her up in the tower and that's because the witch was feeding off of Rapunzel's hair. She was feeding off of her light, her energy, and she was keeping it for herself because she never wanted Rapunzel to leave because then Rapunzel would actually figure out, number one, that she was kidnapped, but also who she actually is. This is exactly how these people act. They don't want you to figure out who you actually are and they feed off of your light while also simultaneously dimming it. As you dim yourself to be around this person, as they continue to discourage you and you lower your energy because they make you feel so bad about yourself, that energy has to go somewhere. So they feed off of you in this like parasitic relationship where they tell you you're not good enough, where they make you feel insignificant, where they downplay everything you do and you go, you know, you start to wilt and then they suck up all of your light and all of your potential for themselves. It's actually quite scary.